Hello everyone. Now in this video, we will discuss one more string operation that is find find. Word itself is saying we will find some pattern into a particular string. We will find some sequence of characters into a particular string. If that sequence of character or that pattern exist in that screen, it means our statement is giving us a true result. If it does not exist, it means it is giving a false result. Now we will do the practical of find. And when we do the practical of find, we will also learn how to use psi sub rc system variable. We will also do the practical of that system variable. So I will go to SC38 transaction code. And in the same program itself, now we will do the practical of find string operation. Suppose I am saying data. I will declare one input variable. Suppose I am saying 50. Type C, suppose I'm saying value, suppose value is system application. So suppose we have a variable and the value of that variable is system application product. So in this particular string, in this particular variable, we will find some pattern or we will try to find some pattern. We will find some pattern in this particular string. So what I will do, I will apply find. Suppose I'm saying the keyword is find. Suppose we want to find system. We want to find system. You want to find system in which particular string LV underscore input. So this is the syntax of the find. What this syntax will do? This syntax will find system into this particular string, into this particular string. If it is able to find if it is able to find this pattern into this particular string, it means our result is true. This statement is giving us the true result. Now I will come on to one system variable, most, most important system variable. We already covered the theory part of that system variable. That system variable is Psi sub RC, most, most important system variable, Psi sub RC. Here, RC stands for return code, return code. Whenever this statement will execute, whenever this ABAP statement will execute, we will get the value of Psi sub RC. It means that system variable will return some value. If it is returning the value zero, it means this statement executed successfully. If that system variable is returning the value other than zero, it means this ABAP statement has not executed successfully. So we will check this system variable. So I am writing if size sub rc equal to zero. If this statement executed successfully, this system variable will return zero. Now I am writing some write. I am printing some message. Suppose I am saying successful. And for the best understanding, I will print this system variable also so that we all can understand fully is the value is coming zero or not. Now, if this statement has not executed successfully, size sub RC will be other than zero. So we will go for else part. 
I will put dot and I will write write statement. I will write unsuccessful. And I will print the value of size sub RC also so that we can check. Is it coming other than zero? If the statement has not executed successfully, you can see after applying Pretty Printer, my all code properly indented, properly indented. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. For the best understanding, I will show in the debugging mode. I'll go to desktop. This is our input. This is our full variable, full variable system application product. The value of this variable is system application product. We are finding system into this particular variable. Will it able to find? Yes, it is able to find. You can check size of RC zero. You can see size of RC zero. Is this if condition true? Yes, this if condition is true. Now you can see we got the result. It is printing the value of size of RC zero and this is successful, which we have written. Now, now we will go for other scenario in which this find will give a false result. Suppose we are finding system. We put S in small. So we are searching system. Everything is in small, but in the string S is in capital. So whenever this find, whenever this find will execute, it will give a unsuccessful result. It will give unsuccessful. See, many people think at this point of time that a back editor, whatever we are writing is case sensitive. Never think in that way. Suppose I'll go for simple understanding. Suppose if I'm putting data keyword in small or if I'm putting data keyword in capital, will SAP give any error? No, SAP will not give any error. So you can put data in small, you can put data in capital. Suppose I'm saying LV underscore input. I will put in capital, I will put in small, no problem at all. So this editor, whatever you are writing, keywords you are writing, whatever the variables you are declaring, you can put in small, you can put in capital. It's not a case sensitive at all. But yes, these are values. These are the string values. Values are always case sensitive. Suppose I'm saying we have system this in this system s is in capital and i'm writing system in which everything is in small both have two different meaning strings are always always case sensitive but this does not mean that that you have to put variable name keywords in capital only or in small only no that is not the case because editor is not case sensitive at all yes sir your string values, values are case sensitive. So whenever you are providing the values, those have different meanings at that point of time, if something is in capital or if something is in small. So here, this system small and this here S is in capital, both have two different meanings. So if we will able to find this into this, the size of RC will be other than zero. This statement will give us a false result. Suppose I'll show you in debugging mode. I'm running the program. Suppose I'm executing, I'm doing F6. Now you can see the value of size sub RC is other than zero. Now you can see the value of size sub RC is other than zero. So this if condition is false, this, this if condition is false, system will go to which part? Else part. It will write unsuccessful and the value of size of RC is 4. So this system variable is very important. Whenever your ABAP statement executes successfully, it will take the value 0. If your ABAP statement has not executed successfully, 
it will automatically take the value other than zero. Now one addition we will add here. Suppose while finding, we are, it is checking system into this particular string. Okay, it is giving us the false result. Have you seen? We have one thing, ignoring. Suppose while finding, we are telling SAP that ignore the case. If it is in capital, it is, it is in small, ignore everything. You only have to check it is existing or not existing. Suppose if here I will use the keyword ignoring case, then what will happen? SAP will simply check this into this. It will not check that it is in capital or small. So if you want to see or if you want to, if you want that, it should ignore the case. It should only find then in that case, you can use the keyword ignoring case. Suppose if I will show you in this scenario, if I will put a breakpoint. Previously, we have not used ignoring case. Then system is giving the unsuccessful result. Now, if I will check, you can see the value of size sub RC is zero. So you can go by that also many times. Yes. If many times customer is saying, I can put in capital, I can put in small, you just ignore the case, whatever I'm putting. So you can use the keyword ignoring case in that case. Now, if I will read the syntax, but the syntax is written for the find statement. Find. So what is the syntax for the find? Find whatever the pattern you are searching in which particular string you are searching and this is the same to same thing we did so in this video we studied about the find string operation with the help of find you can find a pattern you can find a sequence of characters into a particular string and we studied the practical part of system variable size sub rc also and in the future this system variable will be widely widely used while finding if you want to ignore the case you can use the keyword ignoring case so that's it in this video thank you